Welcome to another lame log analysis made easy tutorial. This one we're going to talk about stats, event stats, and stream stats. And we're basically this this uh, tutorial will be to brief you on the difference between the three. And they are slightly different. And I'm going to try a, different, a few different ways to show it. And hopefully by the end of this uh, tutorial, you'll have a, a good idea of how they can be used. Uh, I'll put another video on after this one of use cases, for example, analytic hunting and stuff that you might actually use the different queries for. But let's start. First off, stats command. Um, I just started here, index equals internal, table is source and source type, stats can be the distinct count of the source by the source type, um, DC is distinct count, so basically I'm looking at an internal log, I just want to do something you could do it uh, anywhere you want, and I'm just uh, getting all the distinct sources by source type when I ran that, I see that this source type, uh, Splunk Assist internal log has two sources, uh, this one has three, most of these just have one. This one, Splunk D, has four sources. And what you'll note, what it does is it takes 155,151 events and it collapses it down. It is a transforming command. I use these terms in case you ever want to get Splunk certified or hear these things. These are transformation commands. Transformation commands take logs and change them into primarily into tables. Uh, it, it takes the uh, raw log format and turns it into a table. Often with stats, you'll collapse, like here, massive reduction. Uh, anyway, and we've done that. So let's show that stats. Let's show event stats. Event stats is going to take, oh, um, here, very another example of that command. We're going to just use, this is uh, Correlate Index. I'm looking at my connection logs. I'm doing source IP destination. I'm still staying with the stats command. Here, I'm going to give me give me all of the distinct counts of destination IPs to a source IP. So how many different IP addresses did each source IP go to? There were 31,800 total events, but it only displays 81 because it collapses them down. I can see that 192.168.0.103 went to 33 different addresses, 25, 7, 10, 43, etc. And that is stats. Now look, let's look at event stats. Event stats, going back to my original example, we had 155,000, 18 events showed. Here, the exact same query, give me a distinct count on this internal. What you'll notice is I had 155,118 results come back. Close enough. Clearly, it was based off when they ran. Uh, and how many displays? 155,118. It does not do the same collapsing uh, statistical stuff on here. I still have every one of my logs coming back. But I also have that stats count. So you'll notice this is the metrics log, Splunk D, and it just keeps writing 4444444444. And so event stats will not. Uh, reduce down your logs and you all your statistics show up as individual lines of the entire group so it's going to go look at this entire data set and come back with the statistical numbers for each line and so we can if we move on we'll see when Splunk D metrics log changes somewhere down the line we'll eventually get there it changes now we have this access log and there's just one unique two unique and so each here's you got the two you can and two, blah, 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 and down the lines we go. And so basically, this is just statistic, statting, and each line gets its stuff added to it. Another example using my Coralite logs, hopefully this pushes it out. Here's my source IP, here's my destination IP. Uh, one of the things you'll notice, be careful with stats, you lose values when you use stats. So here, has stats 10,000, um, I would need to do something different to allow me to have be able to bring back more than 10,000 events, but just so you, I, I'm, we're just going to move on and ignore the fact that if I had let the limits be as big, it would be 31,780 events. And so I come back and we can see how many times did zero, how many different IP addresses did 0.0.0, .0, .0 talk to? One. This it and it doesn't matter how many times it shows up; it only talked one time. Now here we can see 133. It taught. It says there were two. Well, we can see the first one, 192.168.0.125, 125, 125, 125, still the same. But somewhere around here, there's going to be, a, oh, there it is. This one here, 
there's my that's the second one and that's why we have two but it marks two to every one of these events uh, and same if I had something with three or up like here 44 if I count it all that there will be 44 distinct IP addresses uh, in all these pairings that go together here I've got two which is 251 119 that's why I've got two so event stats it'll take the entire uh, beginning to end of all your data do its mathematical analysis and every log that came back will get that value written into it stream stats does slightly different stream stats I'm going to show my last example here oh. this one's my last example nope oh. where did I put that okay this one here I'm just going to show stream stats actually does very similar to what event stats does, but it takes each line as it comes through the uh, stream from the indexer and computes it and keeps growing. So, for example, here I did a head 100. I've, I'm not going to use any of the values. I'm just going to say stream stats count. Uh, I just want to know. So, if you've done stats count, if I'd done a head 100 and I do a stats count, guess what the count's going to be? 100 or less if there's not 100 values that come back. Uh, but if I do stream stats, I'm going to count as event count so I can see it growing. And I'm going to table it. And the very first value that comes back, it says, how many total events are there? Well, when the first event comes back, there'll be one. Then when the second event comes back, how many total will there be? Two. When the third one comes in line, how many will be there be? Three. Four, five, six, seven, et cetera, until I reach the back. And it's 100. So what happens is the statistical number keeps growing as the items come through the stream. Event stats totals the entire uh, uh, bundle from beginning to end, statistical numbers, and puts them on each line. Stream stats takes each line as it comes through and does the math on them. So let's show another, kind of putting this in pr practice here. This is my internal logs, source, we're doing the stink count. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and we can basically, okay, so 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, nothing's changing. Is there a place where we get something that changes? Uh, too much. All right, let's see. We might go to my bro log. Make it easier. Got too many of these to uh, mess around with. We'll go to bro. I, I did stream stats, not that one, stream stats here. I'm doing IPs. And so we can see here one. So all these come back. It talked, how many times has 468 talked here? How many distinct IPs? One. Still, when it comes here, is it seeing anything new? Nope. So it's one. Is it seeing anything new? Nope. It's one. So is it seeing anything new? Nope. It's one. Oh, wait. This is a new IP pairing. So the number jumps to two. Now it flips back, but it's already seen that one, so it stays at two. Two, 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 two. And then when it reaches a brand new pair, how many times has it seen this one talk to this one? It goes back to one. Then it grows again because oh, there's a new there's a new communication there. So two, two, two. Oh, brand new communication, so it resets back to one. And so that's what stream stats will do. It will, based off your pairing, the buy, each time you have a buy on there, if the uh, that field changes, the count restarts. If I didn't put a buy in there, this number would just keep, right, keep growing each time it finds a new distinct count on the destination IP. And basically, it's just going to keep adding up. And so you've got stats which aggregates all of your all of your events into uh, very simplified forms and it does statistical for the entire uh, the entire summarized set of data there then you have event stats which it grabs the entire from beginning to end does the mathematical statistics on it and adds that value to each line and it repeats it so if there were seven distinct values here all seven would have the exact same value and stream stats it orders it it basically each item coming through the pipe through the stream will change your statistics and so you're not it will it will it's a different way of looking at it all three are different ways of uh, looking at statistical packages statistics uh, 
getting some understanding of the data as it flows through. But that's basic principle. If you want it quick and dirty, you want just a summarized bit of data on there. Stats is your stats is your is keying. And stream stats is on the other example where you're basically looking for anomalies or averages over time, over the period. And I will be showing another tutorial right after this of useful queries where you can change the windows and change how it groups things together. But stream stats is one of the is an amazing query for being able to know do, do previous values have an effect on future values for looking for anomalies. And and so anyway, I hope this helps you from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. And if you like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Please uh, put down below any comments, questions you might have, any content you want me to uh, uh, do a video on. I love to hear from you guys. I like to do content that you guys want to see. Anyway, I hope you'll keep coming back and uh, keep watching these videos.